let me fix this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to fix this. Okay. Perfecto. Hello. I am Verde Svega. And today I am working with Tarot. This is practice run. 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 This is a practice run. Um, I'm just getting in to Tarot. So bear with me. I decided to have to do something fun. And there goes my camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. That was my camera. I don't want me to do this. Alright. Okay guys. Oh. Okay. Let's let's fix this. Let's 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 fix my camera here. Sorry guys about well it's my camera. <laughs> I'm using my tablet, my Samsung tablet. Samsung tablet. Okay. So I thought it'd be fun to do a reading for someone famous. Just out of the blue. So I chose Jackson from GOT7 to do a reading. So first I asked about his personal, like who he is, person. Then, then I asked about his 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 reading, like a reading, like his, like not future, but what's gonna be happening in his life, like a book. So, like future. This is like the past or now or, you know. Okay, so let's start off. I asked if, if he was Chinese. And I got, okay, I asked first, like the cards. Um, show me yes and show me, no, show me no and show me I don't know. I don't, you know, maybe, I don't know. It's in, so uh, the card is upside down, like reversed like this. Um, that means it's reverse, that means no, and if it's showing this, like, up, right side up, yes, and if it's the side, don't know, something's going on. So, the cards I am using is from this book, the tarot book, the tarot cards, um, this is by Mystic Meg. And the art, the artist, um, is Carolyn Smith. This is from 1997 and reprinted in 2016. So, so here we go. I thought this was going to be fun. So let's do it. Okay. So I asked... Um, if Chinese, this is what I got, yes and no. Um, to me that means, yes and no, that means that the Water King, okay, Water King, Air Princess, Earth King, and Cell Sacrifice, um, these cards are reversed, so it's telling me that his other ancestry in him, and I think maybe he should try 23 Me to see what other ancestry he has because it would be kind of fun and then maybe go to ancestry.com to dig more into his family tree because it looks like he has a lot of like royalty you got an air princess earth king water king self-sacrifice so it seems like here that he had royalty in his blood like royalty or they were rich well off um, maybe one of them was a fisherman. I mean, did, did he have, um, a fisherman in his family? Or they lived by water and they moved to the earth? They moved away from the water and lived more towards land? Um, and self-sacrifice? Um, someone in his family sacrificed a lot, but didn't think he didn't sacrifice enough? Was it like religious or something? He didn't sacrifice enough. He felt that he didn't sacrifice enough. Um, someone in his family kind of cocky, kind of like, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> no, can't catch me. But um, 
Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's like someone in his family didn't think he sacrificed enough. Like, did someone go through the war, like World War Two or something, and felt like he didn't sacrifice enough, or is he like a religious person who felt like he didn't sacrifice enough? So I'm, like, I'm getting a lot of like fisherman vibes, water, ocean, something near the o ocean here, um, on the other side here, something near the ocean, like water, fish, like these Pisces, fish, ocean, like he knew, he ruled the ocean, maybe he was a pirate, you know, I mean, pirates, um, or something, so I think you should check your lineage and see. Okay, then I got eight of fire, the relationship here, um, seems like you're undecisive of something, like you don't know, like a friend, a lover, like you're not sure about this person in your life right now, something is not... Something is not clicking with you somehow. Something, um, yeah, something's not clicking with you. Let me check my notes. Check my notes. Check my notes. Eight of. reference here, Eight of Fire. Let me look up here. It's just, just, let's see, Eight of, uh, da, 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 Four of Fire, Six of Fire, Eight of Fire. Eight outlines the light speed, life that speeds up and whisks you to a far way, reaching to our hope, to hope, hope, happiness. So, you're undecisive about something, something in your life you're not sure about, whether it's a friend or a family member or something, you're not sure about something is holding you back from your happiness. You got eight of fire, something's holding you back from your happiness. Um, whether it's life, love, friendship, family, whatever, something is not working here. Like something is like, bugging you, like something you're not sure about. Um, I think you should delve deep in you and, and just, you know, think and like, think what is bugging you and see if you can try to change it. Or if you can't change it, just let it go. Just let it go. And then here, age, are you like, are you like, you got four, three, and three. Are you like 23, going on 24? Is your birthday coming up or something? Like, you're 23, but you're gonna be 24 soon? Or maybe in Western, you're 23, but in Asian, aging, you're 24? Are you, that's your age? Um, Cause that's what I'm getting, it's upside down for air, but it's like, to me, it's like going out age. Um, it just, to me, it just seems like um, a lot of threes. Like three, your favorite number, maybe? And there's four, four, like four, 403, 433, something 433. I don't know if it's a date. Um, Three, three, six, ten. Something with ten. Ten. Something ten. Like, did something happen when you were ten years old? Or ten? Is that like an age you like the number ten? Or ten? Ten. Something ten. Because three, three, six plus four is ten. Something with ten in it. Um, are you, are you, or are you, do you wish to be 30 years old? I don't know, but 
something with 10 or I'm guessing you're 23 right now and you're going to be 24 soon. Um, you're ruled by Jupiter because this is Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter. Are you ruled by Jupiter? I feel like you're ruled by Jupiter or something, something. But you put yourself on this wheel. You're on this wheel and you haven't got off this wheel yet. You're going to swing around and around and around and around. Um, you're off this wheel, you're spinning round and around and around and around and you don't know. You, you can't get off it yet because you're not ready to get off this wheel that you put yourself on. It's like, if I don't get a job, then I can't make any money. If I don't go to school, then I can't get a job. If I can't graduate, then I'm not gonna get a degree, and then I can't go to a job like that. Thing. You're gonna have a job, but it seems like you is this a big decision, and you like you haven't made it yet. You're still thinking; it's still in your mind, gearing in your mind, and you're like, huh, I don't know about this. But it just seems like ever knowing this is Sphinx up here with a ball, like a, a fortune teller ball to me. That's a crystal ball and use a crystal ball crystal balls we us witches and other people use for divination so something in your future is putting you on this wheel and you not haven't made that decision yet in your future and it's like ever knowing okay uh, and then we got the high priests so people like are you Taurus? Are you earth, earth sign? Are you Taurus? The earth sign? Just Taurus. Because if I asked, and this came out, and I'm like, okay, ruled by Jupiter and air, and I got this, and it's like, no, like, it says you're Taurus. Like, how can you be air and Taurus? Taurus is an earth sign. So, like, are you Taurus or you're into earth? Earth vibes or something. I don't know. But to me, this here, this card, the high priest is people look up to you. You're like their idol. Like they look up to you and you're like you're like this figure that people they can't touch, you know. They feel like they can't touch you because you're so famous and you can't touch you, like you know, and you're but, but, you're very in touch with your spiritual side. You might not know it, but I think you're going to be very in touch with your spiritual side. Um, you have a knowledge, a higher knowledge that no one else seems to have, but you haven't shown it to people yet. Or you have, but, you know, what people treat you retrieve you, <laughs> perceive you as when they watch you on like TV and you know music videos or you fool around with your buddies or in your in your group, but I've got seven, it just maybe it comes off as, oh this guy is just, you know, he's just a goofy guy, but I think there's more to you than just being goofy. There's more to you. Um, you have the key of knowledge, like two keys to me, this keys of knowledge. You have a lot of knowledge that needs to get out and you need to show people your knowledge. You have knowledge way beyond your years. You don't know it yet, but you do. And people will look up to you. But be careful. Don't don't be too like, you know, cocky about it or anything because then people are going to like, you know, don't abuse power. Just don't. I think it's for you, you shouldn't abuse the power. Um, yeah. And to me, the cross here, to me, is like earth, air, fire, water. Earth, air, the four elements, earth, air, fire, water. So, are you very in tuned with astrology? Or the, el the elements? Like earth, air, fire, water, or you want to get into astrology, you want to get into like your birth, you know, like you're an air sign, you want to find out other people's um, star signs. Is that you getting into like star signs, maybe? Maybe you should get into some star signs, have some fun, you know, in your life. Um, the air king. You're very 
childlike, like not childlike, but you, you have a child at heart. You're not an old soul. You're definitely not an old soul. Um, you're a child at heart. You like to have fun and stuff. I mean, there are times I think you can be serious, but I think you're a child at heart. Um, let me read in here about the Air King. Um, yeah, like, you love the wind or something. Air King. The king rules over the wise decision-making and mature, honest approach to living in the public. Um, you're more like childlike thinking. I don't want to offend you or anything, but like, you know, you're a childlike character. You're like a, like a fun character to be with. Um, sometimes you don't make wise decisions. Sometimes it looks like sometimes you don't make wise decisions. And, or sometimes you can be a little annoying and well, they kind of find you like, okay, back off, leave me alone, <laughs> and you're getting annoying. Um, that's what I'm getting on this one. And then the four of fire. It's like family, you know, her family life, or your closeness and stuff. Um, the four of fire here. Um, four, two, three, four. Four is the of home and work, harmony, new roof. There goes my camera. Sorry, guys. I definitely want you to read this. Like, I need a stand. Where are they saying I need a stand? <laughs> oh my god. Where are they saying I need a stand? Okay, come on, where are they saying I Good morning, where they saying I Oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. That's cleaned off. Perfect. Okay. Ah. Come on. Stand. Sorry. I am not prepared. I am not prepared for it. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Aloysius in the fishes. Okay. Stay. Stay. Okay. Does not want me. The higher the spirits don't want me to do this. Sorry, but I wasn't gonna do this. Anyways, okay, back. Four or five. Four is a single of home and work, harmony, new roots, and something special to celebrate. Um, celebrate. It was reversed. So it was, it was, um, um, sideways. So to me, you're not sure about something. Something maybe with work or your family or something like harmony is not, is the har harmony is kind of not there yet for you. Something, a little hiccup. There's a little hiccup. A little hiccup, a little stop. Um, nothing new is really happening here yet. A little hiccup, I say. A little hiccup. Um, I don't know if that's true to you or not. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is resonates with you. If it does, it's great. Comment <laughs> if you're watching this. I feel silly doing this, but hey, <laughs> practice. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay, um, for a fire. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so something in your family life, friend life, it can be like your immediate family or your family, like your group, like in GOT7, maybe that family of boys, something, something is just disrupting a little bit, something you hit a, hit a little hiccup, and you're not sure, but there's someone you're not sure about or something you're not sure about. Maybe it's a new dance routine. That you're not sure about or it's a new song that doesn't resonate with you and 
you're not sure about this song or there's a new a new um, choreographer there's a, a new um, songwriter or there's a, like a new person sorry it's my ADHD sorry <laughs> not the other way but it's like a new um, I don't know like like someone new someone came in that's new and you're not sure about this person um, maybe a manager is doing something that you're not sure about you don't really care for maybe it was in the past or maybe it's right or right now but something something okay next let me get into your um your reading now like for the for for um the future so let's see you got you got changing and beginning Two of air and six of air. Okay, so let's start off with these cards here. Beginning and changing. So you got changing first and then the beginning. You're changing. There's something new in your life and you something new that's gonna be coming into your life. You're changing. Um, I don't know what it is, but you're changing. Something is new. Um, so you're, gonna have, you're, gonna, you're getting this new beginning, a new beginning. Well, you see, I'm nervous. I don't have, I've never done this. This is my first time doing this. Um, a new beginning um, to uncharted, like to, to the unknown. There's an unknown that you're doing. Like this, you're going on this journey that it's just, it's new and it's dangerous. You don't know what's gonna happen. Um, some dangerous waters you feel like you, but something new and this is a good change you need this change in your life whatever it is you need this change day to night day to night um, something new is coming into your life like some innocence about you too there's innocence about you but you are on this new change new journey something new is coming like Maybe it's a new song, like a, a new an album. Something new is coming into your life that you're changing. Metamorphosis. Um, something you, you're you're changing in your life. Um, let me read my notes here. That I what I um uh, it's changing. There's a transformation. There's the word transformation. There's a you go into a transformation. You're, you're you're changing and going through a new transformation, a new stage in your life. Maybe because you're turning a new age and getting older, and you want to seem more mature, more older. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know if that resonates or not. Um, and then you got two of air. Someone that is your opponent or someone you don't really get along with or an opposite an opposite you're going to start working with an opposite so these birds here flying opposite ways so opposite so you're going to have an opposite uh you get opposites attract you know it could be in love or it could be a partner you're working with someone that you normally don't get along with um or someone you don't really care for or like someone who's not your favorite person in the whole wide world you're working with but you're gonna find out that you work well together um someone you don't really want to work with but you're gonna start working with this person and you're gonna find out that you guys work well together or in a relationship you guys, this relationship is working. Um, yeah. Um, let's see here. Six of air. You're taking charge. There's going to be, there might be some chaos. Something going on with, with, um, with chaos. Something chaotic or something. And you're going to help your group. Say like your group is in chaos. Something chaos. Something chaotic happens. Someone forgot something, or something left someone behind, and you guys need it. You're the other one who's gonna take charge, and 
work it through, work people through the chaos to make it work. You're going to make it work. You're going to be the leader on this. Either it's, I don't know, either it's going to be like a new song, a new dance choreography that everyone's not really, don't know, not getting, but it just clicks with you and you just say, hey, you know, guys, let's just do it. Like, you'll be, uh, maybe an album, you're going to be the leader, or maybe a dance routine, you're going to be the leader, or something else, you're going to be the leader of something, something that's not, it's going to have a little hiccup, and you, you are going to be the leader, you're going to take charge, you're going to be taking charge of something, um, I don't know what, but you're going to be taking charge, you're going to be taking charge of something, um, because, okay, let me go to six of air here, but, okay, eight, oh, oops, Six of air. Six is the card that shows you taking control. It is the album of creating order out of chaos. So something you're going to take charge. You're going to do it so everyone can have order in their lives. And you're going to take charge. Um, and also it says for li you know, like, like life reading here. Like, this is a card with strong travel indicator. So... Any job linked to holidays or transport could suit. Are you gonna go on? Are you guys going on tour? Are you going on vacation? Um, also, it says a, a family is on the move, not in far terms of distance, but long ways in terms of lifestyle. So, maybe your family, your not maybe not your immediate family, but setting. Are moving on to a new new lifestyle like something new is coming in something new is coming into your life something new um, and then there's and then this is your luck reading a little extra here physical tests and sports with high barriers as well as a new route on a regular journey so maybe you're gonna do some sports that you're really good at and you're gonna get some lucky here and yes. Also here in your love reading is interesting here that Mystic Meg says, if you're still looking for love, choose someone you first meet when he or she is talking about adventures abroad. And then if you're in a relationship, a relationship can be all you hope for if you add a bit of balance. Until now, you have let someone take too much control, accept too much and assert yourself too little. Maybe in the past of relationships, you always stayed quiet. Maybe someone always took the charge and you never did and you need to speak up. It's just, to me, you just need to speak up more. Yeah. Now you're in charge, so you're gonna take charge. Now you're taking charge of everything and have extra sharpness and strength needed to turn love around. So love can be anything. Like for me, love can be anything. Love between a friend, love between a parent, you know, love between a sibling, love between um, a lover, you know, so, you know, you're going to take charge. Um, you might see someone you like, you first meet, and you normally don't take charge, and then you, and you lose that, like, deep, when you're little, not little, <laughs> when you're, um, like, in the, in the past, when you were, uh, the word the word like you meet someone and you really like that person but you didn't have the courage you know to go up to that person and say hi my name is so and so do you want to hang out sometime and you missed out on that person and you're like shit I should have said something I should have took in charge. I should have took in the reins. I should have took the reins and drove right through, aim at it, and like just say, hey, let's go out. I like you. Let's hang out. You know, either it could be a friend or a love relationship or something in the past that you didn't take charge. Like a lot of things you might have regretted a little bit, but now you're old enough to like take charge and say, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 
I want to be your friend, or I want to go out with you, or no, I want to do it this way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Um, it seems like you're very confident. You're a very confident person. And you're very loyal. And you're a confident person. And plus with the king of air and the king and the court cards here. I think you're a very loyal person. You're a very loyal friend. Kind of cocky, you know, I don't know, but... Very loyal friend. Um, yeah, just acknowledge help. You, you like to help people out a little bit and whatever, but you have, you're a very loyal friend. You're very loyal to whatever you set your mind to. So, that was your reading. If it resonate, resonates with, if it resonates, comment below. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think you'll be watching this at all, but if it resonates to, to my audience, write it down, <laughs> then type it up and go, you know what, that resonates with me, let me know, and let me know how I'm doing, what I need to work on, I know I need to work on a lot, because this is, I'm just starting out here, uh, you know, you know, obviously you can't never teach a dog new tricks, well, I think you can teach an old dog new tricks. It just takes a while. Okay, guys, this is Red A. This is Red A. Out. Bye. Happy days.